Germany is car country. Statistically, every second resident owns an automobile. Christian Hanisch does too. The engineer also knows that when old cars end up in the junkyard, a mountain of scrap and waste is created. Hanisch wants to salvage and recycle as much of the old cars as he can, and he'd like to make a living from it. Christian Hanisch founded a small company that recycles car batteries. It specializes in batteries for electric vehicles, which contain a lot of valuable raw materials, especially metals. But it's not easy to extract them, and it can also be dangerous. But that didn't discourage the businessman. The batteries are already out there, so it makes sense to extract the raw materials and reuse them. We saw the huge potential in that. Ten years ago, the process engineer founded the Dusenfeld Company. This special shredder is at the heart of the firm. It shreds the scrap batteries, turning them into a granulate. There's a good reason for the thick steel plates in the machine. They protect the inner walls from the liquid component in the battery, electrolyte, which is highly explosive. Finding a way to separate the electrolyte from other components was the biggest challenge. It took Hanisch 10 years of drawing, calculating and testing. Now the pure battery fluid flows into a steel tank. This is the electrolyte fluid. No one else can do that. The company sells it to the chemical industry. The granulate from the scrap batteries lands in the sorting machine which results in a grayish powder. At first glance, it doesn't look like it's worth much. Don't be fooled. This is the fuel for electromobility. It contains lithium, cobalt, nickel, and manganese, and that's what we want to extract. To do that, Hanisch needed experts on chemical processes. He found them at a university close by. Professor Tobias Elvert knows exactly which acids can be used to extract the precious metals without dissolving them. But isolating numerous metals from the gray powder is a challenge, even for the specialist in hydrometallurgy. He was so taken with the idea that he became a partner at Dusenfeld. Eventually, a method was developed that breaks down the gray powder step by step into its components, cobalt, sulfate, lithium, carbonate, nickel sulfate, and manganese sulfate. In this pure form, the precious raw materials can be used in the production of batteries. In order to keep the impact on nature as small as possible, it's naturally desirable to keep the cycle of raw materials as small as possible. The Dusenfeld company has proven that it can extract precious metals from batteries, albeit on a small scale. Soon, though, these special shredders will be placed at various locations around Europe. The aim is to sell not the recyclable powder, but the precious metals. For that, a specialized chemical factory is needed. You do a lot of thinking about it all, but it's wonderful when you see that what you've come up with is being put into effect. Dusenfeld has already reached a recycling rate of 91% per battery. The standard is just 32%. As a pioneer in recycling, Christian Hanisch has shown what's possible.